Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Alexandra and today's video is probably one of the most, if not the most satisfying videos you will watch on my channel ever. Point blank, period. I am organizing my entire home today. I've done this before, but I'm using a special method. This is like a foolproof, no going back, never organizing my house again method. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. If you're new here, we do tons and tons of makeovers for renters. So if this sounds like something you'd love to watch, make sure you join our family by hitting that subscribe button. We're almost at 500,000. Let's get started. As I mentioned, today I'm organizing my house. Now I've done this before on this channel. I have purged, I have donated things, but I've never put a system in place. And today I'm gonna to be doing just that, exclusively using the Home Edit products. This is not a sponsored video, but I am huge fans of the Home Edit. They are a duo, Joanna and Clea. I have binged their Netflix show. I've read their book. I actually met them a few years ago, right before they really took off. And I was seated next to both of them at this long table. The fact the fact that I did not even get a photo with them that day pains me. Seeing the business they've built is absolutely incredible. So inspiring. I am going to bring their method into my own home, try it out, tell you exactly how much I spent at the end of this video and tell you what I thought of the whole experience and process. We are doing a full organization, the home edit style. I'm getting all of Team AG to come and help me organize my home, all hands on deck. It's gonna be kind of hilarious. You're helping too. Today, what I'm gonna do is do all the prep work before we actually start organizing. So I'm gonna go through every cupboard in my bathroom and every cupboard in my kitchen and then go through their book and just kind of take notes of like what I need for which room in terms of containers and like baskets and stuff. Take a moment to take stock of what I have before just going to the store and buying a bunch of containers because when I've done that in the past, I always come back with either not enough or not the right sizes. My home has always stayed organized when I have a place for everything and that's just not happening, but that's what the home edit does so well. Put a system in place so it's easy to maintain. Okay, uh, should we start in the kitchen? Let's start in the kitchen. This is embarrassing. This is really embarrassing but this is our pantry. Literally, I don't know what's even behind there because all I do is grab the stuff at the front. So I'm like, oh, chocolate almonds. Yep, these are probably expired. It's just, it's a mess. It's a mess. So this is our color drawer. Not bad, except we have all of these like plastic forks and stuff. Our salad servers are randomly there. Scissors, like it could be better. This could be better. And then, this drawer is just, I don't even know, parchment paper, tin foil, but then we have all of the things that we grab all the time, like measuring cups, can opener. These are those wax like things that you put over bowls and stuff. Hi Lottie. This 100% needs an overhaul. Excuse me. Okay, and then in here, this I would say is like, pretty okay. It definitely needs a little organized, but this is what it looks like. And then the last drawer is like pretty messy. It has all of our food containers, our blender. I collect these little jars <laughs> because I buy pre-made chia pudding and then think I'm gonna use them to make my own chia pudding and that never happens. So there's like a collection of 50 million of these. This definitely needs some help. This is our coffee and tea cabinet. I think I organized this last time we did an organizing video. It just needs a little zhuzhing, I think. And then here are all our spices. Some of these I put labels on back when we organized this. Our knives are randomly here, which I'm realizing is actually a hazard and probably not good for the knives. And then I need to decant the rest of these spices. But yeah, this needs help. And then this cupboard has like napkins, placemats, like entertaining stuff. And then Lottie's food bowls randomly here. These cupboards are really deep, which is great, but definitely need a system for in here. 
And then you guys watched me organize this a while ago. I know it doesn't look like it, but it's so much better than it was. And I actually don't think we need like any new containers. I feel like the crates that I have in here actually are working. I just need to basically organize it again and just make sure that everything really does have its place. Plant pots that I need to bring to the office, tools that aren't in their place. So it just needs a little bit of a rejig. So now that I've gone through every cupboard and every drawer, I'm gonna sit down with a pen and paper and the home edit book and basically make a shopping list of what I need to organize, what the home edit suggests I buy to organize that item before I start buying containers. So let's start with the pantry. They actually have so many different pantries. They have like the chef's pantry, build your own pantry, black and white pantry. And here's the thing. I feel like whenever I decant dry goods into glass jars, which is what I recommend people do to add like style and function to their kitchen, it's not sustainable for me because Noah and I don't cook that much. And so things expire and we don't know how long they've been in the jars. So we don't have the same ingredients, you know, all the time, which does not make this method super conducive. Like this looks beautiful, but I think what makes more sense for us is to have these kinds of containers that are labeled like baking, snacks, pasta. I do think that I wanted to can't cereal because I wanna be able to see how much we have left because cereal is something we kind of eat every day or you know at least like three times a week but for the other stuff i want to make like bins for like bread soups breakfast etc i'm also having this moment where i'm realizing that maybe the drawer where the spices are can be used for like more of those utensils we cook with that are like mixed up with the parchment paper and tin foil and put the spices on a lazy susan in the food pantry okay i'm gonna start writing my list I also want to note that I am looking at the products. They have all the measurements listed and I'm taking those measurements and making sure that they're going to actually fit in my cupboard before I order. For every shelf, I measured the height, the width, and the depth. Who knew organization took calculation as well? Math, 10, 20, 30, we got it. It's like fun math. <laughs> They recommend putting spreads, cans, and condiments on risers and turntables. So I'm definitely gonna get a riser for all the canned goods and then a turntable for spreads and oils and stuff. This is the inspo I'm following for my pantry because I don't actually have a walk-in pantry, I just have a cupboard. So you'll notice that they've recommended putting cans on this little shelf and then condiments on these turntables, which I'm going to do. I'm following what they've done here. So they have like a baking bin, a snack bin, a breakfast bin, except I'm going to actually put cereal in canisters, as I mentioned, just because I think it'll be more visible. If you're more of like a chef, like I was talking about, this is the page where everything can just be like straight streamlined and all your ingredients can be in glass jars. This one as well, they've mixed like baskets with jars, but for us and our household, I think this one makes the most sense. So this is what I've been following. Moving on to food containers. What I'm gonna do is keep the containers out on their own. They stack really nicely, but what is not working is none of these lids have a home. So I'm thinking I'm going to use one of these bins to stack all the lids. And I'm gonna get a couple of these because I have a lot of lids. And because they have a divider in them, I can put like smaller ones at the front and then larger ones at the back. I have realized that I need another drawer for things like parchment paper, Ziploc bags. That's what's causing this drawer to just be like mayhem. So this drawer just needs to be for utensils like can opener, vegetable peeler, etc. In this drawer, I wanna clear this out and have it free for the Ziploc bags, parchment paper, etc. And then do the home edit suggestion of using risers and putting all of the spices down here on this first shelf and then continue the tea and coffee up here. We're not really using that shelf anyways, so there's definitely room to move this stuff up there. I'm also realizing during this reorganization or like taking stock of everything, that we definitely need a step stool in here so that we're able to like 
really maximize, you know, even the top shelf. So I'm also gonna put that on my list. The thing I was doing wrong before whenever I would tackle an organizing project in my home was not setting aside enough time to prep because I'm finding that this prep is like the most helpful thing. Like I'm measuring, I'm buying the right sized canisters. Don't skip on the prep and like give yourself enough time because it's really helpful. Also look at the process. <laughs> I'm just pulling everything out, drawers are open. And yeah, I'm really just seeing what I have. I'm also resisting the urge to edit because I know that that will be done on the day. So I'm kind of acting as if I need to store all the things I have. And the reason is because I know that even if I get rid of some of these things, I still need a place for tea. I still need a place for coffee, this is purely prep. I think I'm done in the kitchen. I'm gonna maybe do kind of a last check, last sweep of things, make sure I didn't forget anything, and then we will head up to the bathroom. Okay, so I'm now in the bathroom and I'm gonna do the exact same thing as I did in the kitchen. Go through what I have, see what the home edit has available for organizing bathroom products. They have a lot of really great little containers. So we're just gonna do the process again. This is the first cabinet. It has my hair stuff in it, contacts, moisturizer, and then jewelry. And then in this cabinet, we have cleaning supplies. I definitely need to figure out a solution for this because like this is not sanitary or cute to look at. Some of Noah's stuff. And then we have our overflow toilet paper down here. I definitely wanna move all the contents that are in this cabinet into this one. It's kinda of like narrow to get in here. I wanna be able to see everything and be able to like easily access things cause this is the stuff I use every day. This is basically like overflow of all our toiletries. Q-tips, band-aids, didn't even know we had those. Thermometer in this random bin. <laughs> and then down here we have some COVID tests and sunscreen. This 100% needs to be reorganized. I can never find anything. I don't even know what I have. This needs a purge. In here, there's, again, just an overflow of stuff that really needs to find a home. I like started by putting stuff in baskets, but it's just a bit of a mess. And then this last cabinet is hard to open because it hits the toilet. So I just have like travel stuff, my steamer. This cabinet's actually not the worst of them, but yeah, I'm gonna get some bins to just corral my travel stuff and maybe put my steamer. These two drawers are organized already. The system that I have going for my makeup and stuff really works for me. And then my hair tools in here works great. Up here is like an overflow of vitamins and stuff, bath salts, hair ties, which this isn't really that functional. The lid is always off, tweezers, stuff like that. All of our toothpaste, more COVID tests that should be in there. For this cabinet, I really wanna make it organized and like as easy to grab stuff as possible because this is where we kind of start our day. <laughs> the only place I could find the home edit products here in Canada was at Canadian Tire, but I know in the States they have like so many different containers and products. I am not using their full range, but I'm definitely using core pieces from their range. So one thing I saw today that I really love are these little mini two drawer organizers. So I thought this would be really good for like overflow Q-tips, razors, just to have them all in one place and they stack as well. I gave myself half a day to prep for this video. And looking back, this is absolutely necessary. It took me about four hours to actually plan out how I was gonna actually organize my space. Also, tip if you can get your hands on a soft measuring tape, I found that much easier to use to measure my cabinets. Okay guys, I am finally done. This is the list of all the things I need to order. <laughs> We've got a lot of organizing to do. So I'm just gonna go order all this stuff. It'll arrive, the team will come, and yeah, the next time I see you, we will be in full-on organizing mode. Hey guys, so the day has finally come. It is organizing day. I wanna show you all the boxes and home edit products that have come. My house is filled with Canadian tire bags. Today I have Amanda and Alana. <laughs> no gram today, but we can handle it. I feel like we're getting ready for a sporting event and I'm like, okay, let's huddle. The first thing we're gonna do is take everything out of my cupboard. So we're gonna start in the kitchen. Do you know what it looks like in there? No, I'm scared. Okay, we're gonna pull everything out and we're gonna sort it into piles and like drawers. And then tomorrow, we're gonna actually organize it into all the bins. Is Noah gonna hate that the whole place is gonna be like a disaster for a bit? Probably. Oh, okay. He walked downstairs and saw all the bags on the weekend and was like, what is this? 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> Getting ready. Okay, let's do this. <laughs> We are starting by unboxing all of our home edit containers and Alana and I are just taking all the stickers off. These are all of the home edit containers we'll be using. There are a lot of things here. So we have a walk-in closet in our kitchen, which some people probably would use as a pantry. Noah and I use that closet as our utility closet. So we keep all our cleaning supplies in there, brooms, our vacuums. This cupboard has already been organized. You guys can watch that video up here. So the first thing I'm gonna do is focus on my pantry cabinet. First things first, I am taking everything out of the cabinet. This is a very important step. You wanna take everything out. Amanda is sorting everything into piles. So things like breakfast would go into a pile. Things like spreads and oils and sauces would go into another pile. You get the gist. This has like one almond in it. <laughs> Do you hear that? <laughs> like who, I know who, but who puts one almond back in the thing? Like why? My collection of Walnuts? Okay, what's in this? It's empty. <laughs> we have all these bougie Bob's Red Mill products. I didn't buy them. I love that you're like discovering stuff right now. They're like $4.99 for baking soda. Wow. I don't need oats. <laughs> Sorry, I'm laughing throughout this, but it's really... Yeah, they're really expired, like by a year. Again, not naming names, but... Who leaves less than a half of a bowl full of Love Crunch? I'm gonna defend him on this one. Are you? You could get a bowl out of that. Come on now. Okay, that is not even a pancake's worth, so. It's not even a half of a pancake's worth. But you could technically add it to the other one that you have. Mm. I will also add that having that prep day at the beginning was really helpful because I already knew what kind of categories I was sorting everything into. So I could kind of direct Amanda and Alana, like that's the breakfast pile, that's gonna be the snack pile. It was just really helpful to like have an idea of how I was organizing everything. Garbage. No, uh, you can get a bowl out of that. I can get <laughs> on that. We are throwing out anything that has expired. Embarrassingly, I had sugar in my pantry. The date, 2013? Mm -hmm. 2013. I'm shook. That would be a solid nine years that you've had the sugar. <laughs> <laughs> like, it just got with me from my parents' house. It's awesome. yellow. I think it's garbage. There's no way. There might be a way. So these are all the piles. We have oils and vinegars. We have nuts and seeds, baking, pasta, cereal and breakfast, and then canned goods. And then over here we have snacks. So now we're just gonna start organizing things into the containers that I've purchased. We're not gonna put them in the cabinet today. I'm gonna save that for tomorrow, but we're just gonna start getting everything like into bins. For the few things that I am decanting, I am just using a clear label, writing down the expiry date and sticking it on the bottom of the canister. I've never been this organized in my life. Like putting expiry dates on things? Oh, look at that. Look at that. I am repeating the same process for every drawer and other cabinets in my kitchen. When you are organizing anything, use this time to actually clean the interior of your drawers or cabinets. Get your dish soap out, get your vacuum out. This is the time to clean in all those nooks and crannies like in your cutlery. Those are the things that like get left behind when it comes to cleaning and it just feels like so fresh and nice now. These lids can come off and they can actually go into our salt and pepper shakers that I've never even used, but how beautiful. These are like impossible to, we need Graham. Oh, oh wait. the strength. No. Oh. Calling Graham. No Graham today, but we can handle it. Graham was like, call me anytime tomorrow. Doesn't answer. Okay. 
I am organizing my Tupperware drawer. The first thing I'm doing is making sure every container has a matching lid. Food container drawers are just notorious for having like 18,000 lids with no matching container. And then what I'm doing is organizing the lids in a divided bin and I'm putting the bases in a separate bin. So I can just grab a base, grab a lid and have a matching set. I'm using two organizing bins, one for the longer food containers and one for the square ones. That actually took me way longer than expected. Tomorrow our day is free. We're gonna finish labeling and placing all the bins into the kitchen cabinets and we're gonna tackle the bathroom. I feel like I'm a professional home organizer today and I'm not mad about it. See you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, so today is finally the day where my house comes together and everything is beautifully organized. It's a Friday filming this. I don't know, I'm like really excited to go into the weekend with everything in its place. So we are in the bathroom today. It looks minimalistic and organized. Filled to the brim. One thing you wanna make sure you're doing, just like in the kitchen, is making sure all of your hair care, your beauty, your sunscreen, like everything is still in date and not expired. If something is expired, you wanna make sure it's disposed of properly. I know that in Canada, at least, medications can be dropped off at your pharmacy for safe disposal. Also, things that I've had for like, forever. I collect shampoo for some reason that just isn't working for me. I'll bring it to the studio, give it to friends, family. Does anyone want some? Yeah, I'll actually take that. Great. <laughs> I've organized things into piles. I'm gonna clean inside of the cupboards. I'm gonna switch them around as I mentioned a couple days ago. It smells like cleaning products because the cleaning products haven't been contained in anything. So they've just been leaking. So we gotta clean that up. One thing that I have found super great about this method is that the home edit suggests to organize into categories. This is really helpful because suddenly I'm not like organizing every little thing. I'm not like my mouthwash goes here and my toothbrush goes here. Instead, it's the category is like dental. So all my dental things can go into a bin and it allows me to be able to add things to the bin and to like grow that category without having to reorganize everything. Basically, I love that I'm organizing based on the category and not the item necessarily. Now I'm moving to our daily cabinet. This is where we keep our toothbrush, our toothpaste, our floss, and I'm repeating the exact same process as the previous cabinets. Oh. The bathroom is all organized. Let's head back down to the kitchen, finish that off. It's all coming together. Let's start with this cute little tea drawer. I ended up getting a bigger drawer for my tea so I can add to my collection. I can get like all kinds of herbal teas now. I'm not just stuck with like three different kinds. All the colors are front and center, a la the home edit. Oh, baby. Okay, the thing I love about this piece is that it's extendable. So it can fit any size of cupboard. And if you have more spices, you obviously can make it longer. On to the pantry. Now, we got a couple extra snacks to make it look color coordinated, home edit style. I'm gonna bring a lot of the snacks back to the office, but I really wanted to lean into the rainbowness. It truly wouldn't be a home edit video without rainbows. Next, I am labeling. So bad news, the home edit labels aren't available in Canada. So I actually made my own. I wanted them to look as close to the home edit labels as possible. Here's how I did it. So I went to the stationery store and I got these labels. If you wanna know the exact size I use, it's the one by two and five eighths of an inch labels. These are also transparent because the home edit labels are transparent. <laughs> Can't even see them. <laughs> and, <laughs> and I went onto Canva and designed each label and then I 
imported that Canva template or those JPEGs from Canva onto the Avery.ca website. This is not sponsored, but it was very easy to use. And then I just printed them on my home printer. I know the home edit labels are white, but I just knew that I wouldn't be able to see them properly. So I did black ink instead. Fun fact, the home edit labels are actually clay as handwriting. What I would do to have handwriting as nice as that. I feel like I have my together, people. I actually do feel that way. This weekend I was like, I am a person who has my together. Cause everything is in a box. Okay, it's time to reveal how much I spent and to tell you my real, true thoughts. Was it worth it? I spent $1,309.53 Canadian. Before you gasp and like faint, this was for me personally, absolutely worth every single penny. And here's why. The home edit has thought of every single tiny detail to make these work for just about any cabinet, any room, they all work together. They're all in like 10 inches by six inches, no like 3.753 whatever inches. And they've just thought about all the problems that could arise when organizing and like mitigated that. In the past, I have bought containers from the dollar store that just like have not lasted. They've cracked, they don't look good, they don't fit in my drawers properly. These containers come at a high price point because they are really, really well made. I can feel that they're not gonna crack, they're not gonna chip. It says that on their website as well. And I can bring these with me from space to space. If you don't have the budget to tackle every drawer and cabinet in your home, take it like section by section. Start with your pantry or start with a cabinet in your bathroom. The one thing I will note is that this is time consuming. It also gets like messy before it gets better. So just set yourself aside some time. And I really feel like this system is gonna work for Noah and I many, many months and years to come. Noah actually came home and he was very impressed. He came into our bedroom on Saturday and was like, wow, everything's actually like really easy to find. I'm like, yeah, because it has its place and it's labeled. I'd love to know if any of you have tried the home edit method. If you love their products, let me know in the comments down below. And now it's time to reveal my organized home to all of you. Home edit, if you're watching, Clay and Joanna, you probably don't remember me, but <laughs> we did have lunch together like four years ago. You just bring so much joy to people. So thinking of you guys and hope you love this video if you're watching it and I'll see you next time. Bye. Bloody oh dies. Gosh, what are you doing? Sir. I just got my shot lined up and now yeah. you had to go and mess it all up. But that's fine. I'm a cotton ball, so I thought I belonged in this one. <laughs> Do your tail swish. Your eyes look beautiful. Oh, thanks. Ha ha ha.